Hello, beautiful Pisces. I am Clarity Bay, and welcome to your reading. What does your crush see in you that you do not see? So, Pisces, let's get into your reading. The deck has been cleared with the clear quartz crystal hearts. Pisces, let's find out what is going on. I am so grateful to be here to use my gift of channeling energy. For you guys, I am Clarity Bay, and welcome to my channel. Pisces, let's get into your reading, and let's find out what the spirit have to say. What does your crush see in you, Pisces? Oh, shoot. That you guys don't see in yourself. With this energy here, this energy here is allowing closeness. Let there be closeness like within a relationship, but allow space. So what this um, energy is stating is that your crush sees that you are the type of person that definitely believes in closeness in a relationship, but you must have your space. Okay. And with this energy, this energy represents how only time will tell. So with this energy, your crush sees that that you are the type of person that is very patient. You will patiently wait out a situation to know if it's right for you. You don't, you're not the type of person to rush into anything. Um, you'll see if a relationship is for you. You'll see if someone is hiding something. You're, you're, you're just, you're the type of person, this energy is stating that only time will tell. So you're the type of person that does have patience. And that's what your crush sees. And with this card, this card represents freedom. I don't know if you guys could see that. Let me bring it here. This card represents freedom. And with this energy, your crush can clearly see that you are the type of person that definitely needs and requires freedom in your life. And in your relationships, okay, you will do whatever it takes in order to feel free. And with this energy, this is the um, self-reflective card. With this energy, this energy states that your crush sees that you are the type of person who, who will take the time out to self-reflect. Okay? You are about self-reflecting. And with this energy, your crush sees that you will take the time out to care for yourself. This card represents you taking the time out to see that you are worthy, to tell yourself that you are beautiful. And your crush sees that you take time for yourself. And this is confirmation of this previous energy because this is the time card. Okay, this is about time. And your crush sees that that, um, that sometimes you do try too hard, but you do know when to back up and to give it time. Okay? So this, this card here represents time.
And this represents giving thanks and gratitude and blessings. Your crush sees that you are a very, very grateful person. They know that you appreciate things to the fullest. They can tell that you are grateful for even the smallest things in life. This is what they see in you, but you probably don't see this in yourself only because you judge yourself a bit harsh, but your crush sees that you are very grateful. And this energy here represents surrender, surrender. So your crush sees that you will surrender whenever you have to. You don't see yourself as the type of person that surrenders, but your crush sees that you will take the time out to surrender and ask the divine to guide you and to give you guidance in your life choices and in the things that you need to do. You'll just give up. You'll give up in a good way and, when, and surrender everything to the divine and to the universe um, to be worked out in your favor. Okay, one second. And with this energy here, this represents taking a time out to taking time to step back. Your crush sees that you don't have no problem. This entire reading has been about you being the type of person to step back and see how a situation will play out. So with this energy here, this represents you taking a step back and seeing yourself and, and and just allowing things to work out. Your crush sees that you are a very faithful person. Even if you don't see yourself as very faithful, your crush sees that you are a very faithful person. So let's see what else Pisces. Again, this reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what else your crush sees in you, but you don't see. Let's find out, Pisces. Reflection. This energy here represents um, self-reflection. And the energy of reflection, it supports our growth. Through the in, through um, the insights we get um, from the contemplations of ourselves and others, so this represents self reflection, as well as sometimes you know trying to reflect and see others as they are. But your crush sees that you're the type of person that really takes time to work on yourself with this energy here and to self-reflect to see if you are going in the right direction. And with this energy, Divine Feminine, your crush sees you as very feminine, sees you as being tapped into your femininity, although you don't see yourself as super feminine, but your crush sees you as super feminine, even if you have even if you are, are a male and has masculine energy, this means that your cr crush sees you um, tuned in to your feminine essence and your feminine energy. That doesn't mean that you are feminine, but you connect, you know how to connect with the feminine energy. 
because the frequency of divine feminine supports our soft, receptive, and nurturing side. So your crush sees you as very nurturing and very intuitive, understanding, and, and sees you as having a connection with the cosmos. Although you don't see this in yourself, this is what your crush sees in you. Integrity. And with this integrity uh, energy, your crush sees you as very honest, a very honest person. Your crush sees you as a very honest person. Um, the energy of integrity um, supports our choice to be consistently truthful and honest while being guided by a high moral standard. So your crush sees you as the type of person that is honest and but but is fair and wants to do things the right way. You see your probably don't see yourself like this, but this is how your crush sees you. And with the grace energy here, Pisces, your crush sees you um, as very graceful, okay? Because the frequency of grace supports our smooth adaptation to and um, anticipation of life's current changes as we evolve toward a higher version of ourselves. On, on this earthly plane, you know, bridging the divine with the human essence. So, your crush sees you as having a good balance between your human self and the divine that created us, sees you um, very gracious and sees you as, as, as tuned in to, to both your human self and the divine. And with the third chakra energy, um, your crush sees you as a person that will go towards their goals because the energy of the sol solar plexus chakra, which is the third chakra, helps us to realize who we are and who we want to be so we can set a course toward our goals. So... Your crush sees you as a person that consistently goes towards your goals. Although you may feel like um, you're back and forth and you're really, you know, you're on course and then you're off course, but your crush sees you as very goal oriented. And with the second chakra energy, the energy of the sacral chakra, which is the second, sh second chakra, it helps us to navigate our lives through our emotions and supports our ability to enjoy the sensual world. So your crush sees you as very sensual, okay? Um, very um, seductive. And although you may not see yourself like that, but that's how your crush sees you. So let's look at some more energy. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel this energy for Pisces to see how Pisces crush sees them. Pisces, sun, moon, and rising. Spirit, what else? What other energy does Pisces crush see? loss with this loss energy um sometimes you learn true offering through loss and you make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the ego so with this energy your crush sees you as having um, 
having loss like your ego. They don't see you as having a big ego at all. They see you as, as the type to let go easily, as mentioned in the other um, cards. Wow, it's very confirming for you, Pisces. Liberation. And with this liberation energy, the doubts and fears still come up with you, but don't believe anymore that they're you. Your crush sees that you are very liberated, okay? Um, that you are very, you resonate on a high vibration. And although you may not see this about you, this is what your crush sees about you. And sometimes we're not allowed to see everything about us because there are certain things that we must do for that veil to be um, lifted in order for us to see our higher selves. But sometimes people see our higher selves before we do. And it's okay. Courage. Courage. So your crush sees you, see you as very brave. Okay. They see you as someone that will take the necessary steps that are shown to you. Like if you are shown something to do, you will do that. You will take the steps needed to, to go towards whatever it is that you need to face. And you face things with courage. That's the way your crush sees you. So what else, Spirit? What else, Spirit? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Spirits, for this confirmation for Pisces. I want to ask you guys to please click that like and subscribe button. That will help to support my channel. So let's move forward. Companionship. Your crush sees you as the perfect companionship for them. They see you as someone that is so perfect to be in a relationship with. And they see you as someone that will give your complete presence, you know, in a relationship. They feel that you will give your all. They feel that you will be affectionate. This is what your crush sees as far as being in a relationship. Divine source. Your, your crush... Pisces feels like you are connected with the divine source. Your, your crush feels like you always have the right plan of action. Okay? And feels like the source is constantly guiding you. Your, your, your crush also feels like... Um, the universe is always conspiring in your favor. True offering. So with this energy, this energy represents us taking what we can, taking what is unbearable, facing an unbearable cross, and returning it with love. So your crush sees that you have faced some challenges in your life, some unbearable things, and you have just returned those things, you know, with love. Like, like you're very forgiving and compassionate person. Although sometimes you may not feel like you are because you still hurt from, you know, some things that have happened to you. And because you hurt, you don't feel like you are forgiving, but you are forgiving and your crush sees this in you. 
and they see that you're very loving. So with this reading, Pisces, this concludes your reading. I hope this resonated with you. I am Clarity Bay, and I am very grateful to use my gift of channeling to give you guys the information that you are meant to have here. Also, if you guys could click like, and subscribe to my channel. This would help to support my channel. I am sending you Pisces lots of love and good energy.